What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm gonna to be going over my top NBA picks for today. I'm gonna to do three picks today for February 9th, 2024. Thank you guys so much for all the support. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you're gonna tell any of these picks. And if you want daily prize picks, underdog, sleeper picks, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am posting every single day. I do NBA, I might start doing League of Legends and Counter-Strike videos again. If you don't know me, that's where my background is. We've hit, I think, 525Xs since League of Legends has started, uh, like January 20th. And, I mean, we've been absolutely just dominating League of Legends. So, thinking about making some videos for those. I know a lot of people like them. The only issue is they get bumped very quickly. So, I'm going to have to make limits for, like, I would take this up to this, or I would take this down to this. But... It just gets a little frustrating. Um, yesterday, I had some uh, NBA free picks. Donovan Mitchell could not get it. We had over 11 and a half rebounds and assists. He ended up with nine. Um, and then we had Jalen Suggs over one and a half, three points made. He actually got three. So he actually cashed that pretty easily. He got two in the second quarter or third quarter. I can't remember which one um, to cash it. Uh, but let's get into the picks for today, guys. I do appreciate everyone that's watching these videos. And real quick, before we do get started, just remember, sign up to VIP. It's only $20 a month, and you get access to all of my slips. And I actually have a $250 giveaway going on for VIP members right now. So definitely recommend that. And then as far as getting a free entry or free VIP, you do get a free week for every website or app that you sign up to using code TTL. So prize picks, use code TTL, you get a 100% deposit match. Underdog, 100% deposit match, use code TTL. Um, we have Sleeper. Sleeper actually matches your deposit up to $500, and they have a $50 protected play today. So that's actually the best option right now is to sign up to Sleeper. You'll get that $50 protected play, 100% deposit match up to $500, and you'll get a free week of VIP. Um, but you do get a free week. They do stack, so that would be one, two, three. Chalkboard is another. That's a month free of VIP right there. Just use code TTL, make that first deposit. I do appreciate it. It obviously helps me. It lets them know that I'm sending customers their way. It gives me negotiation power as well. And it helps you guys. Gives you those deposit matches, lets you tell every single slip. Um, definitely recommend it, guys. And let's get into this uh, video, though. Let's get into the picks. We are going to be using Outlier and DG Fantasy for our picks. Outlier.bet, use my link for a free week. It shows you the stats for last five, last 10, last 20, the head-to-head -head matchup. It shows the opponent's rank against the stat that you're taking. Very, very phenomenal app. Shows you pretty much every all the data that you would need. And then DG Fantasy compares the odds of all the sports books compared to the line for prize picks, underdog, parlay play, better. No matter where you're playing, it'll show you. It gives you an odds to hit, shows you the line discrepancies, and lets you find the best value possible. DG Fantasy, I will say around 95% of the time, the DG Fantasy props get bumped in whichever direction you take it because the odds are pointing towards that direction. So you can use code LIMIT for 25% off your first month on DGF. But we're going to be using Outlier for today's video. And one of my top picks was actually CJ McCollum. And it hurts me taking this because I've taken the over on the same exact prop so many times in the past. But we're taking CJ McCollum under nine and a half rebounds and assists. Now, real quick little detour. I'm really liking the update to prize picks. I really like the update, um, the way the UI looks and everything. I think it's a big upgrade. Really like that. Let me know you got your guys' thoughts in the comments. Do you guys like this? Do you dislike it? Want it to go back? I'm liking it. But um, CJ McCollum, under 9.5 rebounds and assists. Let's take a look at this. Under 9.5. We can see this is minus 120 odds on FanDuel, minus 135 on DraftKings, minus 137 on Caesars. And when we take a look at his last 10, he's went under this in 8 of his last 10 games. In 2023, He's went under this in 23 of 37. Um, away games, he's went under this in 10 of 18, four of his last five. And in general, he's went under in um, eight of his last nine games as well. So he's averaging seven and a half rebounds and assists per game over his last nine. Um, we can see the Lakers defense. They do have a mediocre defense, 20th in rebounds allowed, 23rd in assists allowed. 
Versus shooting guards, we do get a little bit of a nice bump for the rebounds. So middle of the pack, 17th for rebounds. Bottom 10, 21st in assists allowed. But I do think that he's going to be um, not getting as many assists either. I do think he's going to get around 7 or 8 RA. And I think he stays there. I don't think he goes over this 9.5 number. So let's lock it in with confidence. Um, there's no one that's really uh, guaranteed to be out today. Obviously, if Zion or Joval are announced out today, it will affect him a little bit. It will give him a little bit of a bump. But I'm still locking this. I'm locking it in. CJ McCollum under 9.5 rebounds and assists. My second top play of the day is going to be Keegan Murray. We're going to take his under 19.5 ERA. Both of these can be taken on. All three of these picks are going to be able to be taken on underdog as well, guys. That's yet another app you can sign up to get that free trial. 100% um, deposit match. Use code TTL on underdog. But um, let's take a look at Keegan Murray under 19.5 PRA. So let's take a look. Scroll down till we find it. Under 19.5 points, rebounds, and assists. This is minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 129 on Caesars, and minus 130 on Bet on Gium. Over the last 10, he's cast this in five out of his last 10. He's also went under this in four in a row. In 2023, he's went under in, excuse me, exactly 50% of his games, 23 of 46. Um, he is shooting around 13 field goal attempts per game, six of these being three pointers, which leads to him only having a 40% field goal percentage. And he shoots around two free throws, one to two free throws, and gets around five rebounds. He has failed to exceed this in five of his last six games, averaging around 16 PRA in those six games. Um, and that's even counting the 40 PRA monster game that he had as well, by the way. At home, he's went under this in 8 of 21, so obviously that is a little bit hurtful for him. A lot of games he either, I will say this about Keegan, a lot of games he either gets like, 8 to 10 PRA, or he just goes off for some reason. He gets 30 to 40 PRA. I don't know how or why. Um, but we can see the Nuggets PRA defense. They're fourth in points allowed, sixth in rebounds, seventh in assists. So they have a great defense on all aspects. Um, versus his role, it's even better. It goes 6 3 6. So sixth in points allowed, third in rebounds, and sixth in assists. I don't think he's going to be able to get much today, especially with this defense. And when we take a look, we can do, um, we can make sure that all the players, the key players are in when we're looking at this. So at home with all the key players, he's been under in three of nine. In general, he's been under 11 of 23. That so just makes sure that uh, it's not counting the games where like Sabonis was out or Sabonis was out or uh, Fox was out, anything like that. But which is very similar to normal stats around 50%, 23 to 46. I'm really liking this against the Nuggets defense, though, um, especially with how he's been performing over his last five, six games. I'm taking the under here, Keegan Murray under 19 and a half PRA. And I do think that this could bump down to 19 or even 18 and a half. Um, and then my next pick is going to be Kyle Kuzma. We're going to take Kyle Kuzma under 11 and a half RA. I do think this is 11 on prize picks now. I'm still liking this at 11. It just adds push potential. Um, at 10 and a half is where it becomes iffy. Like maybe you don't want to take it. Maybe you do. But he's versus the Celtics. So I'm really loving his under today. I do think he gets 8 or 9 RA. Let's take a look. Under 11 rebounds and assists. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he's gotten 9-9. Nine and nine. And when we go to 2023, he's cashed this in 57% of games, 28-49. And that's not counting the four times he's pushed. If we include those, it would be 32-49, or 49, so over 60%. In away games, he's went under this in 17-25, of 25, or went under or pushed in 17-25, of 25, went under in 16-25, of 25, in 64% rate. Celtics, 20th in rebounds allowed, 5th in assists allowed, versus power forwards, 19th and 10th. And the, the Wizards are 17 and a half point underdogs. This should 100% be a blowout for sure. The Celtics versus the Wizards. Um, the uh, Boston should be able to just destroy them. Uh, so I'm going to take Kyle Kuzma under 11. I don't think he's going to get his full run of minutes. I think that um, similar to his... Uh, 
Last games versus Boston, maybe. Let me see what the scores were. 126 to 107, 94 to 112. Yeah, probably around there. So he's probably going to get around 26 to 28 minutes, if I had to guess. So if we do under 26 minutes, we can do 28. We can see he's cast this in 67% of games where he's played under 28 minutes. Six of nine. So I'm really liking this. I don't think he gets a full run versus Boston. I think they blow him out. Let's lock it in with confidence. Kyle Kuzma under 11 where it rebounds and assists. And that's going to be our third and final free play of the day, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.